All right, so greetings and aloha. I am trying for what will now be the last time uh, recording here on the knockoff of the SJ4000 um, with what I believe is a proper speed memory stick that has available space on it. I discovered, um, if you don't know, uh, you know, one of the ways to put a video on YouTube is to basically just upload it, right? As you might guess. And in doing so, uh, you upload your file and then uh, YouTube converts it to its format. Uh, and then making it available in various streaming speeds, at various qualities. Um, and so, for the most part, I record in like uh, 720p, I think. Um, this this uh, this actual camera this will do 1080p, uh, but it does it in a .avi format. And so then, when uploading it, uh, I believe during the conversion process, it will only allow for 720p. But again, I don't really know. The reason I bring this up is, uh, in doing so, you know, you sort of watch the the videos and you make sure that the voice, or at least I do, make sure the voice and the in the video are you know syncing up. And after watching a several minutes of that, you just, I just sort of assume, okay, great, the whole thing's all set. Well, <laughs> apparently the last couple of videos that I've done that I've uploaded uh, have not had the ability to sync like that. So I apologize for that. And uh, what I would love to be able to do actually is do all the videos on my phone uh, because the nice thing about my phone is that um, once I make the video, then I immediately just go into the YouTube app and I upload it and there it goes and it's available uh, privately uh, and then I schedule it shortly thereafter. Um, but, uh, and then I also fill out the title and the, the meta tags and that sort of thing. And of course that option is not available with a any type of non-internet connected device that has the YouTube app on it, i.e. this GoPro uh, or this SJ4000 or is, is in this case my HD 1080p. <laughs> that's the only label that's on this thing. So anyway, so that was the, that was the first thing I wanted to touch on uh, and hopefully this file, this video will uh, be recorded correctly um, and be able to be uploaded. Uh, so I'm in the car and I'm leaving uh, work, uh, which is school, which is synonymous for me. Um, and I'm heading, uh, I'm gonna head over to the bay. It's a little bit after three o'clock. What I like to do uh, is I like to get up early. I like to get into work early. Uh, and I would prefer to leave early. Uh, the main reason for all of, for most of those tasks is that um, I uh, do not particularly like to sit in traffic. <laughs> uh, and in fact, it's not so much that I don't like it because I could do things every morning for sure. Uh, one of the things that I do in the mornings when I go to work is I check in with my mentor, with my sponsor. And I've been doing that for 10, 15 years and I do that every morning. Every weekday morning that I'm going to going to work in the car as I drive in, uh, I am 100% successful at that. I am not 100% successful at calling him every single day of my life, uh, because a lot of times when I'm out of the routine of getting an Acura and driving a 5.5, uh, if I'm not doing that, then for whatever reason I get distracted by other things, or I'm potentially 180 degrees out of phase, meaning I'm 12 hours ahead or behind on the other side of the world and my life is not such that I get up in the morning and call people. Anyway, uh, I do have plenty of things that I could do in the car if I was in uh, traffic, and I have like Pimsler's lessons, the DVDs, so I can learn another language. That's how I learned a little bit of Thai. Don't go Chai pass that Thai, need like crap. And, um, I uh, could also, I suppose, call other people or do other things like that. But I would prefer to get into work early and not sit in traffic because it really is kind of a waste of time. Um, 
with no traffic, I can get from house to office in 15 minutes. And I, and I prefer that. So, uh, right now, I'm leaving work. Uh, and I'm going to head over to the bay, hopefully, and catch a little bit of sunset, maybe, before the clouds are rolling in, although it looks like it is rolling in. Um, so I wanted to check in on that and also uh, check in and see if I, if using this uh, if this SJ4000 GoPro pseudo little wedge camera thingy uh, using that is going to be a possible long term solution. I am taking two GoPro cameras to the Philippines when I go uh, next month and uh, and so there'll be some I have some really cool surprises for you uh, not the least of which is the places that we're staying um, and the costs of it will just absolutely blow you away so uh, so I'm very excited to share that with you guys uh, I'm also hoping in the next uh, couple of weeks to get a much better update on the Boracay bag solution uh, and I'll be sharing that with you as well so uh, that's sort of my check-in on the way home here uh, and you know ending with doing one video a day uh, I had a really good day at work today and I hope that you guys did too one of the things that I uh, brought uh, that I found out about from from where I work at a university is that there's grants available for many things and so one of the grants that I'm applying for is what's called an international opportunities grant and so this allows for uh, faculty, for sure, you know, to do research in other countries and internationally, right? Travel internationally and do learning and teaching, but also for uh, staff and administrators, full-time benefit-based folks like myself, uh, to go to other countries. And so I've done that with a couple of uh, IT conferences, but this is a this is one where uh, I'm specifically requesting to go to uh, Southeast Asia uh, to learn a little bit more about. Um, some technology that's happening over there to experience and uh, bring back innovation as it relates to uh, technology in higher education. Uh, and so that's going to be very exciting. Um, yes, I absolutely love that part of the world, but there's also uh, amazing opportunity in that part of the world. Um, and so that's something that's actually something that I'll get into into my next video. Because I want to talk about uh, Southeast Asia and where all of that's going. And uh, as I sit here in 2017, um, looking out over the horizon uh, to 2020, um, I got to tell you, I mean, Southeast Asia or the ASEAN nations, ASEAN nations, A-S-E-A-N, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, uh, their future is so bright, they got to wear shades for sure. Um, and so I'm going to be talking about some uh, tech-related opportunities for that whole area. So it's pretty exciting. So anyway, uh, it's Mike's checking in, saying I hope you're living the dream, because if you are not living the dream, I bet you're doing it wrong. And if I can help with that in any way, let me know. Ciao.